Hi, this is a video about stripping down a brake caliper uh, on the front. This car happens to be an MG ZS but probably applies to quite a few different cars. So the problem is when you come to changing the brake pads you can't push back the um, piston in the caliper. Normally you take a, a pad off or try and wedge between the pad and the piston and lever it back with a long screwdriver but it's been impossible to push it all the way back meaning you can't get the new brake pads in. So I've partially dismantled this uh, already, taken off the two bolts on here and uh, that allows you to release in this case the uh, caliper and what we need to do is uh, get the piston of the caliper out, clean it all up, preferably uh, fit reseals. Uh, I'm just going to show the dismantling and refitting as it is at the moment but to do it properly uh, you ought to fit new seals and preferably a new piston because quite often the piston on its uh, inner edge is rusted which is why it's uh, seized in the first place. So first job is to get the piston out and to do that we'll use the uh, car's uh, brake system so we'll press the brake pedal until this piston comes out and out keep topping up the master uh, cylinder uh, reservoir so you don't run out of brake fluid and therefore push air through the system at the same time we've also got to make sure that uh, once that piston has come out uh, we don't drain the system out because we're going to need to disconnect the uh, hose to the brake caliper and we need to clamp off this pipe to stop all the fluids leaking out as well all right so the next thing we do is to get an assistant to pump the brake pedal uh, you can do it yourself just do a couple of presses and then come back and check it Okay, start pressing, start pumping. So now you can see the piston starting to move out. So uh, keep pressing that until you start to get fluid out of the piston. Just release the rubber in case that stretches too much for the rubber. There we go, I think that's about it. Okay, start. And the, uh, I should mention by the way, that the brake reservoir was pretty full up with uh, brake fluid. But it's useful to uh, check it as you're doing that. Maybe do a few presses and then check it. You know, I've loosened this bolt up quite a bit already. So hopefully, yep, we can just release that. Be careful not to overstretch the brake pipe. So now, we can release. Okay, that's it now, thanks. So now we can release the brake caliper. Have a dish to collect the fluid. Try not to get any muck on the parts. And then what is also now quite useful is to have one of these pipe clamps. This came from a boat shop. To squash the brake pipe, stop all the fluid draining out the system. So I'll we'll do that, tighten that up nicely. Okay, let's just about stop the fluid flow. And uh, so next is to uh, dismantle the whole caliper. So now we have the piston out and you can see the uh, reason why it was seizing it's a rust on the surface uh, it also can potentially create a uh, leak this one didn't but the whole thing well that really needs replacing um, you can try and clean it up but uh, you may get a leak but uh, that's what we're going to do here just for the sake of showing how to dismantle and reassemble it all uh, so this rubber seal fairly firmly stuck in the edge what we can do is pull it out from this little slot that it's in well jammed in this one there we go so you can see it has a little lip on it that sticks into uh, the recess in the metal all quite rusty all needs cleaning up and the actual main seal of the caliper is this piece of rubber around here which also really needs to take out so get a little sharp screwdriver underneath it and oik it out like so. 
Oh. Once you've got hold of it, then take it out. And then all this needs cleaning meticulously. And that's just blown out with an airline as well. And when that's done, reassemble. Um, I'm going to reassemble with the original seals and piston. But ideally, I'd recommend getting new seals. Um, but it's quite an old car. And uh, just for the sake of showing in this video, we're going to reassemble it with uh, the original rubbers and seals in place. Alright, when you've cleaned up your piston, if you're going to try and reuse it, uh, rust marks, you could try and uh, sand away, sand smooth with a bit of 1200 wet and dry paper, which is what I've done there. I uh, don't know how long it'll last, but uh, so I can't really recommend this on the video. But this is what I'm doing. The rust isn't uh, too deep, so um, it'll probably be alright. So while it's in that state and you've cleaned out the inside, and I recommend using uh, an airline to blow out all the little bits of uh, dust and rust, uh, check that your piston fits in neatly. Now, first off, it didn't fit because there was a bit of rust around this uh, top edge. So I had to scrape that off with a little screwdriver. And also use a screwdriver to go into all these recessed parts to scrape out all the rust. Having done that, the piston, which is a very tight fit in the caliper, does actually fit. goes down that far. That actually is not quite going all the way, I think. And if you take it out, you'll see there's tiny little scuff marks around the bottom and what uh, you can quite often find is that you get bits of deposit of bits of crud right at the bottom of the caliper that you can just gently remove with an edge of a screwdriver making sure you don't scratch it not pressing too hard just remove all those old deposits which get there because the piston hardly ever sits at the bottom of the caliper and so uh, seem to tend to accumulate all this rubbish on the, the walls of the caliper which stops the piston going all the way back and you need to push it all the way back in order to get the new brake pads fitted easily do lots of cleaning and hopefully with a bit of a blowout again if you haven't got an airline you can always pop down your local garage use theirs the line for blowing up tyres which every garage will have very useful for getting rid of all those uh, little tiny bits you can't pick up with a tissue. So now, let's see how that fits. Yeah, now you see that goes a lot deeper and it goes down with a bit of a thud at the bottom, a metallic click. So now the two fit nicely. So now we're going to reassemble everything. What we need to do first is uh, use this rubber grease. And one of the secrets to rebuilding calipers, keeping them rust free and smooth operating, is rubber grease this is red rubber grease that I got from eBay and it's basically used to lubricate all the rubbers and uh, pack the inside of that weather seal keeps the elements out keeps the rust at bay stops the water getting in and of course uh, lubricates everything looks after the rubber so actually going to use this around the seal as well probably something that they don't do in the factory but uh, especially important if like here we're reusing the seal and uh, a little bit of effort and a little bit of pushing push that back in make sure it's uh, flat all the way around like so and I'm just going to put a little bit of rubber grease around the bore as well the next job is to fit this outer seal which uh, actually forms the job of a seal against a, a double seal against the hydraulic fluid because uh, this wider part of the seal goes into this recess over here the inside edge actually seals in, a, in an additional way against the piston see it's got a little raised edge there so it's like a second seal on the piston but we fit that we'll actually put lots of rubber grease in here make sure you uh, keep everything nice and clean so uh, now, a little bit tricky, we have to push this edge of the rubber into that recess in the metal. Okay, that's the seal in place, and what you need to do then is uh, press firmly with your finger and go all the way around the inside to make sure it's flat and pushed into the recess. 
and any excess rubber is pushed out of the slots, like so. Then checking again for cleanliness, we then need to refit our piston and what we don't want to do is push the outer piece of rubber into the hole in the caliper so we need to try and pull it out a little bit and get a clean screwdriver and just try and oik that lip over the piston once we've got a little bit of a hold it'll become easier this is quite a tricky operation now You need to both push in with the piston and, of course it's very very slippery, push in with the piston at the same time trying to pull this part of the rubber edge out. It probably would have been easier if we'd had the bottom part in first, so maybe I'll just swap over and do that. Uh, let's try and make it like this. There we go. Now we're getting there. So the bottom piece is in. And we are now all the way in. So that's actually not in the caliper yet, but it's held firmly by the top part of the rubber. And now we just push gently down. And you should find the piston smoothly goes in. Top part of the rubber slots in the slot of the piston and the piston then is able to go all the way down to the bottom of its travel quite easily just by pushing my fingers so that is then the piston fully depressed we then need to reassemble and bleed the brakes so that's with the caliper reassembled took the I took the opportunity to uh, change the brake discs and the pads at the same time because they're quite worn uh, tighten up the bolts on this car, the torque setting for these guide pin bolts is £20 foot and the bracket bolts were £80 foot, two top and bottom and the uh, union bolt for connection hydraulics is 25 Use copper grease on the parts of the brake pads where the metal makes contact with other metal. Keep it well clear of the brake friction material itself of course. Uh, but some copper grease on the back of the brake pad and on the shims as well again where they contact the metal that stops uh, the brake squealing when you brake and the other thing is when you put the bolts on these ones and these ones make sure you use uh, thread locking compound Loctite 243 on the threads of the bolts as an extra safety precaution and next you need to bleed the brakes so get an assistant to press the brake pedal down while you uh, connect the tube to this, so we'll do that next. So this is what we have to bleed the brakes and get an assistant to push on the brakes. Undo the bleed nut, down, up, see we close it before releasing the brake pedal and that stops air being drawn back into the system. Down, up, down, up, down, up, and you keep doing that until you no longer get any air bubbles coming out. Then do it up and that's the brakes bled and ready to use. Of course, keep checking that you've got enough brake fluid in the master reservoir, top up as necessary. That's how to dismantle and reassemble and fix your Break calipers. Thanks for watching. Bye.